When I first began training, I thought kettlebells were an accessory like any other dumbbell. But then I began experimenting and saw they offer unique benefits. They're amazing for weight loss, abs, glutes, and even treating back pain or nerve damage. That's what I'll explore in this video, and I'm taking you with me. 1. Kettlebells and by extension, kettlebell squats can be great for weight loss. If your goal is growing your muscle mass, Smith machine squats and barbell squats are great. However, kettlebells are more dynamic pieces of equipment, and that means you can use them for squat variations and squat-based movements that lead to weight loss. For example, a lighter weight kettlebell allows you to do more reps faster, which increases your overall caloric burn. Or you can consider a clean and press type of move, which also helps you burn more calories. I know, this isn't technically a kettlebell squat, but it does incorporate the squatting pattern. 2. Kettlebell squats can be more functional. This depends on the type of kettlebell squats you're adding to your routine though. Getting back to that clean and press I previously mentioned, that's a really functional move that works your total body. Also, offset rack squats or squats with overhead kettlebell hold are also extremely functional. Plus, they work your core really well. That brings us to the next point. 3. Kettlebell squats are truly core busters. The goblet squat is a great example here. Holding the kettlebell in front of your chest allows you to sit up straighter because the kettlebell acts like a counterweight. This means your abs have to work harder to stabilize that position while there is less pressure on your lower back. Besides, the one hand hold makes kettlebell squats tougher on your abs and obliques. And there are many options here. A suitcase squat is the easiest alternative, while an overhead kettlebell hold is the toughest both for your abs and your obliques. I would start with a lighter kettlebell and a simple rack if you're a beginner. As an insider tip, you can do different kettlebell holds with each hand to challenge your inner abs even more. For example, you can do a rack hold with your left hand and a simple single-handed kettlebell hold with the other. This asymmetric hold is extremely challenging on your abs, so they'll work very hard to stabilize your body. It's much better than doing crunches, by the way. 4. Kettlebell squats are amazing for glutes. Yes, I know, glutes are technically part of the core if you're to heed the official definition of the core. However, they're a very important muscle group, so they deserve a separate section. Goblet squats are again a great example because as I said earlier, they take the pressure off your back. As such, they allow you to go deeper into the squat, stretching your glutes. And the more you stretch your glutes while you apply mechanical tension, the more muscle fibers you employ. That means your glutes can grow larger faster. 5. Kettlebell squats are easier on your back. I already explained this in point 3, but it's worth noting it again. If you have back issues that don't allow you to do barbell squats or Smith machine squats, kettlebell squats can save the day. In fact, many chiropractors and physical therapists actually use kettlebell squats as part of their recovery routines, even for people with chronic pain and nerve damage. One such practitioner recounts an awesome story of how kettlebells have strengthened her back and relieved her of years of chronic back pain. She then successfully applied the same techniques with her patients. I'll include the article in the video description, so you can read it, too. 6. Kettlebell squats make it easier to keep the correct squat form. That's also because they take the pressure off your back. Many people tend to arch their backs or round them outwards when performing squats, especially as they go deeper. There are many causes for this. For example, you may have weak ankles, knees, hip joints, or lumbar areas, which is why you feel the need to compensate by flexing or extending your spine. But you may also have specific biomechanics that prevent you from keeping your chest up. For example, your hip joints may not allow proper external rotation. In cases like these, a double hand kettlebell hold or a goblet hold can make it easier for you to squat correctly because the kettlebell becomes a counterweight. And if you squat correctly, you're strengthening your entire posterior chain. 7. Kettlebell squats enhance hip mobility. Think of everything we talked about in this video. Kettlebell squats help you perform correct, deep squats while keeping your back straight and with less pressure on your lumbar spine. That means you can go deep enough to open your hips. And you're not just opening your hips, you're also applying mechanical tension to them while you're in that bottom position. This resistance plus stretch combo is what strengthens your hips, building your mobility. So, there you have it. I took you on a journey to explore the seven benefits of kettlebell squats, 
just as I promised in the intro. If you enjoyed this video and maybe even learned something new, remember to hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and turn on your notifications so you'll never miss a new episode. Now, I want to hear from you. Have you tried kettlebell squats before or will you try them now? What kettlebell squat benefits did you notice? Let's keep this conversation going in the comment section.